it is how you spiral out of control. I've been in the gym every single day for the last decade almost. They just look up and they're like, what the fuck has happened for the last month? I haven't trained at all. Well, of course it is, because only winners are. What's up, guys? We are back, all right, with a bang or two. Let me tell you, listen, I, I'm always so dumbfounded by the whole consistency thing, because just, to me, this is very natural, you know, training every day, reading my book, doing all these actions. It's very easy for me, like, to be consistent. I don't know why, but it is, okay? I had this, you know, my, I was talking to, about this with my mother the other day, and he, she was like, yeah, it's probably in your genetics that you, you can, you know, be all this consistent. I was like, there's something, she, she said something like, oh, there's probably something in you. <clears throat> you bet there's a fucking dog in me. No, but for real, I think that's a really bad thing to think. Like, it, it, that is some genetic bullshit. You know what my stance on the whole genetic thing, okay? And nothing is genetical. Well, something is, though. I mean, but not this, okay? This is just you, you know, being able to put in daily work. That's that's it, you know, anyone can do this. It's not that fucking difficult. Um, but I think where it spirals out of control, because that's also something that's weird to me, because I've been in the gym every single day for the last decade almost, with the exception of my uh, Special Forces uh, stuff. So, and field exercises in the military in general. Uh, so, so to me, people like sliding out of the gym or, you know, the routine and not, you know, getting after it, that's that's foreign. That's something I don't know anything about. At least not something you know for an extended period of time. Like oh, I've been a, like a, a month of the gym. A month, a month of the gym. That's fucking nuts. That is fucking crazy. Um, I th I don't think I've ever been a month away from the gym, like apart from the field exercises as mentioned. So I mean, I think that's a point to it though, because you kind of have to you know, develop an inner voice that actually checks yourself. Because no one else, no, no, no one else is going to check it for you. I mean, maybe you have good people around you, but they're not going to be there and follow up every day. No one has time for that. You have to do it yourself. It's that simple. Okay? No one's going to take care of it. Like, if there's no one who cares about your success as much as you. Okay? So you need to implement some strategies for how to actually do that. Okay? No one's gonna come and carry you to the top. You have to do it yourself. Everyone knows this. Um, the, the the point where everyone slides out is like they don't have that inner voice that tells them, okay, now it's getting bad. And they don't catch themselves in time. So eventually they just look up and they're like, what the fuck has happened for the last month? I haven't trained at all. They just open their eyes and you know they've been at the gym for that long of a time or whatever. Like they haven't played Tetris for a month. They want to be, you know, the best Tetris player in the world. Whatever, right? Um, I remember, I remember back in like junior high school or whatever. I don't remember how old I was, like 13, 14. I was talking to this school counselor about how, because I wanted to like quit school and go live on an island and just lie in a hammock. Uh, now, I, I guess I am doing that now though, but I'm not lying in the hammock. I'm just, you know punching foreigners in the face. Um, so it's a bit different. And I was complete pussy back then. And that's also quite different now. Um, but I, I remember talking about him and I told him that, yeah, well, it's very important to be objective about stuff. And he was like, yeah, well, that's quite difficult. And I was like, well, of course it is. Because only winners are. You have to be objective about this. You have to like take a bird's eye view from yourself and be like, you're not up to par right now. You are sliding up. Like, you've been two days out of the gym now. This is bad, okay? You're on that downward spiral. You have to catch yourself like that. And it's, it's of course, it's not difficult. That's why only the top 1% does this shit. That's not why only the winner does it. It's that simple. You have to be objective enough to look at your own life and see what the fuck is going on. This is how you spiral out of control. You have to develop that voice, okay? That's why consistency is such a big thing as too, because if you make it a part of the routine, that's a fail-safe, or, you know, at least some fail-safe against spiraling out of control, as opposed to maybe having a weekly thing. Um, maybe that's why I'm also a fan of doing less work, but more often, I'm a frequency guy, 
rather than like super intense guy. Like consistency beats intensity every single time. Any, any, every single time. In a wrestling match, a guy just, you know, he keeps coming, he keeps coming, he gets all this pressure all the time. Versus a guy who just like goes blast, blast, blast for like 20 seconds, then he gasses out, consistency wins. Like, I'm gonna beat your ass. So, you have to develop that voice. You have to look at your, yourself and be like, I'm not where I was, want, want to be right now. This is bad, this is getting out of control. Let's fix it right now. Right now, okay? There's no waiting around. There's no like, okay, yeah, we'll fix it tomorrow. It's right now. Do something at least to try and get back on track. To stop the, you know, the falling down, the downward spiral. You have to, you have to be ruthless about this stuff. All right? So that's the topic for this video, okay? I'm not gonna sit here and rant and repeat myself any more than I probably did, but whatever. Go get the gold, because you are a winner if you choose. If you don't, if you don't choose so, then I mean that's up to you. Anyways, take care. God, I'm so you know testosterone fueled. I've been eating raw eggs for the last I don't know how many days now. I'm so charged up. It's fucking amazing. All right, take care and God bless.